It's an oscillograph. Yeah. Not an oscilloscope, an oscillograph. <laughs> Got cat hair all over it. Okay, why don't you do your intro? One more screw to come out, I think. All right. We'll leave it just like that for the moment. Okay. All right. You gonna do anything? I'm recording. Okay. This is a really neat antique from the early days of electronics. This was made by RCA back in the 30s when they were working on television. They had invented the electron tube for scopes and scientific purposes, and they were using it in television. But this was an RCA, RCA Victor, of course, cathode ray oscillograph, which is a crude scope, made probably in 36 or 37, uh, mostly for experimentation. There really wasn't a use for them yet. But this one is amazing because it only contains four tubes. And that includes the power supply and everything. Uh, I got it at an estate sale. I knew the man that owned it. It has been completely recapped and it should still wake up. You can record on, plug on the cord. Let me see. Now it has a horizontal and vertical input. Uh, it has horizontal sweep. And I forget where the power switch is. So it has its own internal sweep generator. Just barely. Okay, who's got the power switch? I know it's on here. Oh, there we go. Okay, four whole tubes. The tube's not very good. Won't, it won't focus. They're starting to illuminate. Yeah, a little light up here in a second. I got two of them. The other one has a smaller tube than this. It's the 151 period. This is 151 water, 151 tube. Look at that. It's, it's, it's going to start sweeping. Well, it can. And if you go to one of the inputs, you get vertical deflection. So I get it to do a... Well, that's not bad. It's picking up a signal when your finger touches yeah, it. Yeah, it should be a, a crude sine wave. Not bad for nearly 90 years old. This would have been a experimenter's dream in the 30s because you could finally visualize electric signals. And he was using the new cathode ray tube, which had been invented years earlier, but there wasn't really a use for it yet. That's about a two inch tube. Not even calibrated for voltage or frequency. And that one won't quite focus. It's got a focus control somewhere. And it just won't quite focus, but Hey, what the heck? It's amazing. Yeah, but four tubes to do everything. Talk about uh, multitasking. But there it is. So it's a 1936 oscillograph? 36, 35, 36, 37, I don't know the exact date, but it's the mid, it, the mid to late 30s. They had scopes going back to 1930, but they're only mentioned in passing in some tech manuals. The man that owned this was a restorer and a very good audio man. And he obviously sat out one night and rebuilt this one, and it's made, and nearly everything in his house had been rebuilt very nicely. So I had to it's have the, that. It's got the, all, all the original knobs. and Yes, yes. That's a miracle if you realize how old it is. Yeah. Well, kind of like that TV that woke up after 70 years. Who knew? So I thought that was neat. Well, you couldn't bring a, a, a plasma screen or a flat no. panel online after 70 no. years of it broke. No. You can take this, and uh, the horizontal sweep is sort of variable, and you can kind of sort of sync it. 
but you could get something of a, a horizontal sweep coming in from it's got an, an oscillator and then feed it a vertical signal and get the shape not necessarily a good time standard it was the first time you could visualize the shape of signals I mean audio was a was a revelation for this if you wanted to know what a signal looked like you had a galvanometer with a pen and a strip of paper kind of like uh, an EKG machine and they did audio graphing of sound, which was fascinating. Do you know where the word phonograph actually comes from? It predates the record. There was a man, I wish I could think of his name, who figured out that he could take a disc covered with soot and put a stylus and a diaphragm to pick up sound and could, could make squiggles in the soot so that you could see the shape of sound. And he published books, the phonograph. And people were expected to learn to study the shapes of sounds and learn what they meant and even learn to read sound by the patterns. It didn't work, but it was fascinating. So he had the word phon phonograph before the record was invented. Hmm. So. Well, that's amazing, Paul. This yeah. is another tech talk. That's something interesting.